Hey guys, my name is Gabriel Marquez and I decided to do my individual project on Mission St. Louis. The reason why I chose this project was because transportation there wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be and I could have either taken the bus, ridden my bike, or walked if I wanted to. At first, I was skeptical about this place because I'm not somebody that's really into history. But after going there, experiencing it firsthand, talking to an archaeologist, and him letting me feel the artifacts, I became really interested in the area and I would definitely recommend it to somebody who's just trying to have a fun, historic trip that's in Tallahassee. Many people don't know where Mission San Luis is located because it's in such an awkward part of Tallahassee. It's located right in front of a CVS pharmacy, and what boggles my mind is that this area that is so vast and so beautiful and has so much history is located in such a modern area of Tallahassee. Mission St. Louis was home to the Appalachian Indians, and this society was very distinct and had its own culture. But what really interested me the most was that they had a really close relationship with the Spaniards, and having a Spanish background myself, I was really curious to know why these two distinct societies were close related and lived amongst one another. The mission is considered to be a living museum because it allows for tourists to experience firsthand how former Appalachian and Spanish lived. And when I went there myself, I was curious to know how the people that worked there recreated the scenery. And when I got there, I noticed that many of the people that worked there were wearing these very beautiful clothing. And this clothing was very rich and very full. And I asked one of them, why do you guys wear such thick clothing on such a hot day? And they told me that they purposely tried to recreate how it was back then when the Appalachian Spanish lived so the tourists could experience how it was. After walking around the area for quite a while and talking to many of the people that worked there, I decided to go to the archaeologists of the area. And right when I walked into the room, I was speechless because I saw these magnificent artifacts that were literally dug up from the floor below me. And after talking to Lee for quite a while about the more history aspect of the mission, I started to talk about the more tourist aspect and how many tourists they get a year. And he was starting to tell me that they don't get a lot of tourists yearly because not many people visit Tallahassee in general. So I started to ask some questions such as what is the most important thing for the mission and to spread their word. And he told me that the internet helps them spread most of the things that they would like for people to see and to, to hear and their own website allows for people to make reservations for tours and all these other things that will just allow for a more um, influx of people and tourists to the area. Lee the archaeologist was very informative about the area and he started to tell me that they don't get a lot of tourists because Florida is such a huge tourist destination. What I mean by this is that Places like Orlando where they have Disney, that's where an influx of tourists go to, not some place like Tallahassee. So what they've been trying to do is get their word out there and trying to show the artifacts on the internet and trying to show everything that they find so people become more interested in the area. All in all, I would definitely recommend this area to people because it was such a great place to visit. The people there are so dedicated in their work and they want the people that visit, such as tourists, to experience what the Appalachian Spanish did. This place is by far one of the best places to go in Tallahassee. And in the next few slides, I'll include the information on how to get there.